Welcome back, everybody, or welcome back during the evening, afternoon, or morning, whatever time you're watching this. I'm here, I want to level 7 in from back, and back from the last part, I still have my two special guests, Super Sex for 134. Hello. And Mario Sonic Forever. Hello, I'm back from the dead. And, CJ, welcome to Happy... Happy Village. Happy, happy village. Mm. You don't sound very happy about it. <laughs> you do hear the music, right? Partially. Yeah. Doesn't it sound a little weird? There it is. Oh. Oh yeah. So what the mole tells you is you don't want to waste your time fighting with the enemies, do you? Are the ones that are too uh, high level enough to even face anyone? Yeah. And there's actually a few things here in Happy Happy Village. First, there's this shadow girl. How much do I have on me? Yeah. Here she is, right here. Excuse me, yeah. tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Uh, how much? Let's give her a buck. A buck. Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard for you. Go and be happy. <laughs> well, so I'm assuming everybody in this town's happy. It's just a town full of happy well, Mac salesmen. They're being mind controlled in a sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not really horrible, but the scene on the front doesn't make you want to go there. The picture postcard. Interesting. And what do you have to say? One day, Mr. Carpenter received the revelation. He now speaks the tr real truth. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, let me show you what happens if you do not donate. She will be your shadow. And look at that. You're all pressing, you know that? Oh, oh. Yeah. Isn't that That's kind of fun. weird? Wait, you didn't pay for your ticket? A... And now she's gone. Oh no, there she is! Oh, I thought you off-screened her. <laughs> no. And is that CJ. A, is that a cow? Yeah, blue... see anything weird about this? Yeah, that cow's blue. And talking. Yeah, tell... Telepathy. Whenever you see the text in parentheses, that's Ness. And Ness's ability for telepathy means that he can read animal minds. Oh, wow. And that's what he's saying. I'm just a poor old cow. But Mr. Farpainter's messages always... You say it, you're, oh, TJ. Move me. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpaint, Carpainter... Messages always move me, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Shut uh, up. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, there's a, I want to talk to a few more people in here because they're... A uh, shy guy? <laughs> no, it's just the guy wearing, wearing a mask. That overweight... That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Peach. You know, she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know I was joking. Ha, ha, ha. Let's forget about this. You heard that, didn't you? That little... Oh. I won't tell you anything. Oh, too bad you already did. Uh, the boss is going to be mad now. Yep. Go in here. The hotel. Yeah. You have to pay 50 bucks. You know what? <laughs> Joe, remember my favorite line? We are yeah. one, like one big happy family. Yeah. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about it, we make an exception and let you stay for 50 bucks. Be sure to say, do your blue, blue chant before bedtime. 
It's basically a uh, fucked up religion. Yeah. Uh, happy, I, thought happy. I, was, I thought I was singing the um blue song before you go to bed. Happy happyism. Yeah, and take a look at my bedroom. <laughs> they worship. They worship Pac-Man. No, no, I was saying that it's, it's all blue. They worship the blue. Okay, I thought they worshipped Pac-Man, considering he's smiling all the time. <laughs> Good reference there, DJ. Mr. B. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, you definitely know that there is a problem going on. Mean, meager living farm lodgings available. Yeah, there, there's something wrong with this town. <laughs> Is hmm. the car painter wants a girl? No, I don't. Hello. But uh, you heard that, DJ. Her prestige is happy, happy is. Looking for a girl who can be a high priestess? Wait, so. Yeah. In other words, the second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that blue man over there. I wonder who he is. Yeah. But first, let's hear what this guy has to say. When he painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out on me, returned home. Interesting. Ouch. Yeah. And here we have a happy... It's a smurf. <laughs> it's a smurf. It's a smurf. I like that. <laughs> the insane cultist. Yeah. So what these guys are... Yeah. Well, hey, did you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the KKK. This is this is kind of resemblance to the KKK Klux. I'm offended. Yeah. And they try to. to... You know Go ahead, Joe. The only thing different about them is that they gave them like a like a pointed fluffy ball at the end of their hat to. To lose resemblance with the actual KKK because they knew they get into trouble if they actually like, put that in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And they made him blue. So I'm guessing it's that toy kind of made. It, I guess I don't know what a toy had in mind when he thought about that. The the insane cultist. Well, this whole game is supposed to be about the. They're just the, a bunch of. It's just just a bunch of fundamentalists. It's uh, the dangers and things of everyday life. Yeah. You see on the news, you see on stories, blogs, everything. Yeah. I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want well, them excuse all. Excuse me. <laughs> I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. I'm monitoring those who don't. Pay at the food stand. I heard many footprints exist, exist deep down in the East Cape. People call that place Lily Putt Steps and makes it feel them feel uneasy. Uh, a fresh egg. Oh, I, oh yeah, <laughs> Gerald. I, what do you think I should actually TJ? It's five dollars for a banana. How much do you think I should pay? Pay one dollar. Seventy-nine cents. Seventy-nine cents. Yeah. There's no it's seventy-nine fun. cents. Uh, pay the closest thing to a dollar. A dollar. Wait, did I get it? Yes, I did. I noticed you didn't pay. Oh, hello! I actually, fight you. Oh, I did not know that! <laughs> Unassuming look, I didn't either. This is new to me. The hell he actually fights you? Get I back off, off, man! Bullshit. What? He's done. That was new to me, people! I've never seen that before either. He's very aggressive for someone who's on assuming. Won this confrontation. But the good side of you must ache with regret. Ha ha ha. 
Okay. Okay, then. Oh, I already talked to you. I didn't talk to you. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't even go near that place. I don't think about going in there. In Are here. You? This is Lily Putt steps. And Are you going to go Paula? Not yet. I'm only just gonna show just the minor. Here's and this is the mole plane rock, TJ. Weird name for an enemy, huh? Um yeah. What's that Pokemon that I'm trying to think of? Diglett, I think. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. And as you can see, they give you a lot of experience. Huh. 456. And see, see that there? He wants Smokey? To, yeah, he wants to say hi to you, TJ. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it might attack you. Or it might just give you a hug. Yeah. Maybe it's a friendly bear. <laughs> friendly? When. And this ain't no typical Yogi Bear. I don't know, Smokey the Bear never tried to hurt me. <laughs> Smokey the Bear. I like what you just, I like that idea. The Care Bears are pretty nice. <laughs> what? Wait, is... The Care Bear? Well, what, why do you think their name, Care Bear? Because they care about you, right? I don't know, I never really watched it myself, but... Yeah. Alright, now it's time for me to leave out of the cave. I'll come back into this cave later. This is Lily Putt Steps, people, and it's a walk... It's just a one... one area dungeon. There's no... no caves or no, like, well, there is climbing. Well, I don't think there is climbing, but it's like... More of, like, going down. You, you'll understand what I mean when we get to this point. When we get to that point. Uh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Let me show you what happens if you use a for sale sign in the cave. Oh, wait, that, that's not... Yeah, he does. I saw your sign, so I thought I stopped by. Here's someone selling a house. <laughs> they can come in caves? Who, yeah, where did she come from, from the cave? It's because it's you're near the... You're near the, the, the village, so there's people nearby. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning why you came from the other way. I know, right? No, I, I question how she... Came out from there. Alright. Now it's time to go back into the happy, happy village. Because there is two more things I actually need to show off. First, let's go into the drugstore. The information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold, if you're ill, or if you can't seem to heal, if you're poisoned, if you're depressed, a refreshing herb is the real deal. I know it seems pretty iffy, but you should give it a try. Weed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And take it all out. How oh, may I help you? Yeah, refreshing herbs. Oh, there's lucky sandwiches. I'll take one. All the stuff you can get. Hold on. The other guy has something new for me to get. Yeah. The sandlot bag. Yes. This music is creeping me out now. <laughs> yeah. It is supposed to be creepy. And by equipping that, you can tell my offense went up by seven. And you can also sell the weaker bat than you had before. 
and the Holmes hat. Um, I mean, the, the rest you can say for Paula slash Peach when she joins your party. Yeah. Jeez, that's a lot of money, my dude. What the hell? You don't need all that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but I will get one more thing. Thanks. Especially for a 13-year-old boy. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty easy to forget that. What, you were going to say, TJ? Nah, I was saying it's pretty easy to forget that Ness is just 13, doing all the things he's doing. I know. Like one of the Goonies. <laughs> the Goonies? I... Are you talking about, um... Wait, TJ, what's that one show, um... It's kind of like the Goonies, but... Wait a minute. It, it's like... It's on the... It's, it's a Halloween series that they show on Cartoon Network. What is it called? Uh... The... It's not the Goonies, it's, um, uh, Goosebumps! Oh, yeah. Oh. Goosebumps. That's what I was thinking about. I wasn't sure what the hell you were talking about, like, in general. I was like, Goosebumps? Well, that was, that's a, well, that's a movie. I know that was a movie. Well, I... No, they had a whole series on it. They had a whole Archie series. Never... That died, though. <laughs> yeah. You Are you think... gonna go in there for a yeah, I'm actually Whoa. going to do something that no, no one's ever done before. Are you going to show off what happens if you don't have the Franklin badge? Yep. Okay. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give us what you're... Oh, okay. Present. No. Nah. See how many of these guys there are? Yeah. Oh, do they all jump you? <laughs> no. No. Ooh. They don't care. Chicken! Oh, yeah. If anyone's coming in here. What the heck? <laughs> Does this make sense, Gerald? <laughs> Who's this guy? Did, did That's what I want to wanna know. And what the? Where's he going? Where's he going? Well, how did he get? <laughs> Gerald, I question. You know, I question half the stuff that's going on in this game. It's pretty funny. Well, what, what was I even thinking of using it? So yeah, this is sort of a maze, people, so you have to talk to the cultists for them to... Some of them move out of the way. And some of them you do have to battle. Depends on how they feel. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. TJ, would you mind saying this? Green, green! Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. <laughs> we trained him wrong. As a joke. Yeah. And I'll take the skip sandwich. Let me show you what it does, Mr. DJ. Does it, like, skip a turn or something? Nope. Oh, no. I'm moving faster. Blue below. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that oh. whistling makes one smile. It does. Oh, remember this line? Oh, oh. yeah. Don't you go to heaven. <laughs> unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. What? <laughs> they are fundamentalists. Don't go to heaven. Go to hell instead. <laughs> That's a nice thing to say to a 13-year-old boy. Oh, he's mm -hmm. a Satanist. He's <laughs> a Satanist, yeah. Perhaps. Let's go up another level, shall we, Gerald? Yeah. Oh, you didn't learn anything, huh? No. I learned at level 22. Oh, okay. You can't I thought, be... it, was, I thought it was every level. Nah. Oh. And yeah, I just... You can battle some of these, Cheryl. Oh wait, TJ, I want you to do this. Yeah, I know. Blue, blue. This should wake you up. Ah! Attack! Oh, I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> they see weird things. Yeah. I I'll, give you, I'll give you a rundown of uh, quick facts. The 
The creator of the Mother series itself like wrote all the dialogue for this game. No, no kidding. All uh, of it. Oh, he didn't let like, hire writers or anything. He just did no, it he, he did all of it. Yeah. All, yeah. all three games. Well, I mean, he probably got some help while doing all of it, but like for the most part, he wrote all of them. Um. By the way, have you guys played the Earth, the first Earthbound, like Earthbound Beginnings? I think I it was. I have. Yeah. I never beat it. Though. I would beat you say it. it's? Would you say it's better than this one or worse? Um. Worse. In, in terms of story. In terms of story, it's like kind of equalized with this one, but in terms of gameplay, oh god. <laughs> Uh, it's like Pokemon, where random enemies just randomly come out of nowhere and you're not repaired. You're not prepared. Okay. And like you Talk. said, TJ, um, or Gerald, you said that it's only, he did all the dialogue in this game, but what about in Mother 1 and 3? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I wonder about that, too. Alright, so... Go in here. Oh, TJ. Would you mind doing this guy's line? I... I screamed. Because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> and, oh! Girl, does Wait, that what? look you, familiar? You walked in from the... Okay. Left and came in from the left. Yeah. Is there a game over or does it kick you out? I think it just kicks you out. Hold on. I'm gonna create a restore point. Because you can't really fight him without the, the badge. I know, but I'm going to show what guys what happens. But you see that thing behind him? Uh do you recall that from an earlier um and Probably well, I exaggerated, probably sold it to him. Kinda yeah. looks like Shovel Knight. <laughs> Shovel Knight. Alright, so I've talked to him. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy, peaceful society. Will you be my right-handed assistant? Let's go oh. with yes. Ugh. You I don't old. sound shady. I have drawn you into my trap. You landed on my trap card. And you're done. Zap. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, what the? 